It's 20 hours.
Hello, hello, good afternoon, good evening fellow gamers. It is time for the trains again and it's been a while since I've streamed a train game of any variety. So let me just, just do that, there we go. Oh, that's annoying me as well. Flat, oh, can you like stop popping out? Go away, thank you. So hello. Hello gamers, um, <laughs> that's time to go to my normal intro because that feels weird. So hello guys, Matthew Masai here, also known as Chris Lyson Entertainment, and welcome to a game called Train Sim World. Uh, again, it's been a while since I've played, streamed any sort of train games, um, G20, say that. Um, and the last time I streamed Train Sim World, the original, like, I pl played the original and I've streamed the original, and the last time I did that was in... July 2019? No, Demi was in the 2019 period, mid 2019. And I've not streamed it since, uh, apart from those two streams. So, you know, a little t went a bit of a chill stream, and I've been playing a lot of Train Sim World 2 now, the hot new successor, which has some awesome things like being able to create custom liveries and a scenario editor. Um, so, you know, there's been quite a few interesting things for the scenes. Uh, because my main objective to d today, I, uh, it is like an objective sort of thing for the stream, is mainly just to finish these scenarios. So my, so the stupid thing stops, you know, when the moment I choose a route, it immediately puts me into that scenario when I don't want to, and I would rather just choose the one I want, but I don't want to keep going to the main menu every time. It's a very stupid system, and I really wish they didn't do it like that. So we're going to be doing this scenario. Um, uh, and then after we get this, because this is actually an hour long scenario, once we get past that, we'll, uh, the world is our oyster, then. Um, I also got the Isle of Wight route, you might notice, I got that along with a route that's coming out tomorrow, as a little, tr as a little um, treat for the fact that my insurance has gone down £200. So that was like a treat to myself sort of thing. So I bought the Isle of Wight route, plus the, um... Uh, the upcoming high-speed route, I think, I forget what it's properly called, but, you know, it's coming out tomorrow. Uh, some people have early access, I'm not one of those people, so that is that, but I'll definitely play, play some of that tomorrow. It's going to distract me from animating. I'm also working on Intercity 250 delivery for the Class 398, so, you know, that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to trying that out, I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> it's going to be a fun time for all parties involved. Hello. I goes into cities thing. Which I've done a livery mod for, but it doesn't only work if you do timetable liveries. If you try to do anything else, you know, try to use that pop in a timetable, your custom livery does not show up whatsoever, as far as I can tell, which I kind of don't like. So it's not a very nice hole in this, not much I'm going to be with you. <gasps> oh, that went well, hmm. Oh, there you go, I forgot. Turned off. Set my thing to neutral, that's why I couldn't. It had, you know, the red thing over the power I could put into it. But jeez, this acceleration is crazy. We're already up to uh, 80 kilometers per hour. I don't know how many. How I don't know how fast that is a mass power, but jeez. It's gonna have. The framework can drive, so I can see the framework because it's also randomly shot because I just don't know why, but hey ho. Huh? Okay, point eight point two eight point one kilometers, so I've got to be careful of that. 
kind of weird that a uh, um what a um region yeah you know, regional trains going to speed still that would accept from an intercity train so it's weird see an um a uh, regional train doing well it's essentially it's almost at this point 155 miles per hour that what i do know because i'm in the last computer what it was what you know 160 kilometers per hour in miles per hour so now it's 155 miles per hour more you know Of course, I went to two kilometers, Mark. I will need to go around um, 20, 30% on brakes, give or take. Oh, well, that fuck that. <laughs> this is like <laughs> such a cool sound. Turn that over for next time. Then yeah, I can feel the breeze coming from the window, but if I don't, it, my room gets too warm, so you know. That's what it is. You know, the scenery in Germany is pretty neat, it's pretty swell. I like it. They didn't see the speed limit in, so I've clearly I've braked a little bit later than I should have done. Gonna need to be a little bit more aggressive on the brakes. There you go, that's fine, it's all dandy. I'm already marginally behind schedule. Like, very marginally, like, you know, that could. All things considering, that could have been a lot worse. No, I'm going to be able to catch up, but you know, it's still about six seconds behind schedule, so it's still not grand, but you know, it could have been a lot worse, all things considering. And away we go. We you like the hum of the motors as, as it just speeds up. 
It's a swell sound, not gonna lie. Well, that's not a tunnel, that's trees. Thought that was a tunnel, not gonna lie. That's how you get banned. Twenty five percent power, that's not bad. That's yeah, you know, that's about one quarter total power usage, which is good. Jeez, we're already around three point five kilometers until we reach our next station. Uh and around again around two kilometers I'll turn start speeding down to sixty. So, because then I cut, caught an eye at the speed armature before it was too late. No, you know, the speed limit changes to it was too late. It's very likely I would have missed that otherwise. Okay, I'm going to have to be a lot more aggressive than I thought. Although I'm not as aggressive as I was. I'm not going to get there on time, but you know. But yeah, I think gravity is doing most of the work right now. It's a valid strat. Why should I put unnecessary wear and tear on to the equipment when I can let gravity do most of the work here? It says, but you know, so you've got to be somewhat careful. Yeah, how is it already 41? It was like 40 a nano ago. I'm trying to be on time, although that's not really much point. Yep.
we got here by the time we had to finish loading passengers. That's not exactly good. That's like a whole 30 seconds. Don't know why H is. I know W is ri is whistle in uh, in Britain, but H, no idea. Could be mean horn. It could not. It's anyone's guess. It's anyone's guess. If my mouse could stop freaking out, that would be great. No time to waste. We should have retreated some of the camera. I kind of know how you can disable camera collision in, in Unreal Engine. Like, they could have done that with the camera. It would have been so much better in some respects. Now we're cooking the gas. Anyway, how is everyone today? I don't. I seem. That's all I seem to neglected to ask. How's everyone today? I hope everyone is well. Wait a minute, wait a minute! You can't do that to me, you didn't... What the fuck is going on? You've seen this boy with us, right? That's borrowed us, and you know that's borrowed us. Like I said, that's bored ass. You said the speed was going to be 160. You didn't say anything about a changing speed limit there. That's bored ass, and you know that's bored ass game. Come off it. It does it on purpose, I swear, sometimes. Definitely passed here on the in my intercity once through timetable, the time of sigil. Scenario, you know, the time, the thing, the stuff, the freelance mode, the sandbox even. The stuff where you can do walkie walk and also do the, had the custom liveries, if it works. Oh well, that's most regrettable. And there goes to the four mountains in the city train on the route that I would normally pass the station by. Never to be seen or heard from again. Who 
15, 30, 51, 51, okay, I thought that's the 31, I was like, hold up. Bearing in mind that you're throwing that at me. Oh, we're actually on the line now with the intercity train, which is on. Okay, cool, dandy. So basically, I've got to keep an eye out now. Because the fact the intercity train is now ahead of us. So I've got to keep an eye on the uh, lights now. <laughs> Not the lights, the uh, signals. There we go. That's, I still remember the proper terminology. <laughs> he lied. Still green, that's good. I don't know where that line goes, but it goes somewhere. I, I remember th this quite vividly from my, t my time on the intercity trains, which is actually my favorite type of train, not gonna lie. I like the looks, and I like, I just like non stop, just um, driving non stop services. It's fun and relaxing. Doesn't require, always require me to use, doesn't require me to ha always have a full activation on my frontal lobe. have saved. Like that, when I don't concentrate for five seconds, this is what happens. Yeah, because I activated the emergency brake now. Meaning you're not... We're backing it up! <laughs> yeah, this is good. We should pay more attention. Because I hate doing this. I actually genuinely... Genuinely hope that is not. No, it's actually greater than this distance. Okay, that's good. This is literally the worst thing that could have happened. Out of everything I wanted to do, this is the worst thing I have. At least I didn't get. 
I'm not going to fear from passing danger, so, you know, so small graces. Hey, I'm not having you stop there under any circumstances. There you go. That could have been a lot more smooth and I could go a lot more according to plan by anyone's definition. That did not go well whatsoever. <laughs> Ugh, how embarrassing. <laughs> oh, we have it, I also. You know, did the right doors. There you go. I've been shooketh. I've been shooketh, and we're now way behind schedule because of that fiasco. Now about this time, about this time, I pay attention. <laughs> just waiting for the part we have to turn over. That's the part I'm waiting for the most. We got half an hour mark, so we, we should be there. Then again, I tend to take longer and stuff than it should be. Yeah, we're not gonna get there in ten seconds. Next to that sound, so we're just gonna be forever behind schedule now. Uh, there was a chance of me salvaging it, and I blew it. I blew it. And I, what did, I tried to think, what did, how's my speed looking? Hmm, yeah, that looks about right. So, Zichi, two subs on now. It's when I gotta change over. Got you. I don't know why I didn't bother to change speed. Did not think about it whatsoever. Which seems to be a common theme during the latter half of this arm drive, I've noticed. On the right side, I can say how long to me on the other side, so I don't think I have to worry about the intercity train anymore. This side. I don't know why that's blinking, but hey ho. Hmm.
Next up, then we're gonna change over to the other side and let you go back the way we came. Like no joke, that's a thing that I have to do. That's about the scenario. I hope you have to do this. Yeah, well, let me go finally. I know like there's five, and I'm on four or five now. Of the scenarios, which then hopefully after that it will definitely leave me alone. But you know, I do kind of want to play the Isle of Wight routes before the end of the stream. That also would be good. I'll be definitely be Gucci. Brother 7 does not feel any confidence. Wait, hold on. You're going to do me dirty like that. It was, it was going to do me dirty like that. Are we really that close to the final station that we're just going to continue digressing speed? This one, I think, is 40 kilometers per hour. Yeah, I'm right, 40. So, yeah, we are that close to the station where we're just going to continue digressing speed. Is it 20 or is it just that's the last one? I forget if that if it goes down to 20 after this or not. I think it might just be 40. Ooh, mm, that was the wrong way. Yeah, it's just 40. And uh, usually go just going straight to the left thanks to the being an in intercity train. So this is a bit of an interesting experience. Seem to see train vet still there. No, it's long since fucked off. Over there's where I switch to the other side. This train is now due to return to cat ca game calling it change so new to return cat for the Sound of this cab chain to so I'm get ready for departure. What does it say? Yep, okay. There we go. And The master switch was the master switch again. There's the master switch, it's been long, so long so. Can I close like the door please? There we go. Excuse me.
Yeah, so I spent the next 41 minutes just doing this. Brilliant. Yeah, look how far behind we are. Fuck's sake. Excuse you. Excuse you? Oh, you're not, are you? If you're gonna make me do that all over again, the first half, I'm gonna... Why is there no checkpoint? Where is no there no checkpoint? Hey, I'm not doing that again. I didn't think I would have to save there. What was it? Where do you... When you wanted me to go back? Fuck you, I'm not doing that again. I mean, I will do later, but for now... For now... Had a turn 20 30 hours yet. Want to do a night one, so that's fine. But for now, because I want to do stuff, other stuff, I, I'm not doing that, but that's so unfair. I, that's boulder dust. Ah, yes, night. You know, you remember when it's just bright outside, don't you? When it's night time. I literally have to go out for this. Fuck you, train. Oh. Maybe if I change time, maybe it would be better. Thank you. 
and I haven't tried playing it since I haven't showed that Samad, but that seemed to be affecting the lighting. Yeah, there we are. See, that's interesting sound mod. I'll we'll have some lighting. This doesn't feel like night time, I'll be honest. Trail 103, you're expected to be really dark at this point, it just isn't, and I just don't know why. It's irritating me, Simon, I'm not gonna lie.
Oh, don't I just want to hear what the actual sound sounds like with a power, uh, you know, a full throttle sort of thing. It sounds nice, this, this sound I'm not going to lie, it's a nice sound mode. I think there's a very few times that a locomotive is allowed to go reach its maximum speed that it can do. Okay, so if those bridges there, that means we're probably near to the HST de depot. Wow, it just ran on the tanking. And there it is, there's the HST depot. So I think it is. I think it looks like it. Like, there's really no point having this on because the rays and the lights are not really working properly. I don't know why, but it is just the case, so meh, it is what it is. It's so weird that a classic 166 is basically doing this route. It's something that I'm more accustomed to a class 43 HSC to do, so you know. If I had DMU, essentially a diesel hydraulic doing it instead of a diesel electric, it's quite a novel concept that I do like, I'm not gonna lie. But it's just over 1.2 miles to 1.5 miles again because it's very wet. Dang it. Dang it, that did not go according to plan for what I kind of wanted to do, but hey-ho. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> Can't wait to sort of far left where the HSC usually is. I wonder if it's just since it's a non-busy hour, so they don't... That's yellow. After this one. So that's just that's yeah. 
Oh, the screen again. If that's where, that means somewhere it's another train on the same track that we're on. Where that is, I have no idea, but hey ho. It's starting to say quite a bit now. Yeah, yeah, look, it's starting to jiggle quite a bit now at this speed. What's the next speed again? No, he's like written on his locomotive. Max speed, 90 miles per hour. <laughs> We're way pissing it now then. <laughs> We're going where no man has gone before then. Yeah, 96. I don't think it's going to go it. 97 There's a very good chance I'm going to derail the thing Because we're going at speeds this thing was never designed for Ninety-eight <laughs> I'm going to fly her apart <laughs> Oh my so you'll fly apart. Fly her apart then. Ninety-nine. Come on, somebody does triple digits. Baby, 100! <laughs> Woof! We're pushing some serious grounds now with this DMU. Clipping that, don't mind me. We're now, now we're cooking the gas. It's 21 hours. <laughs> okay, we're operating speeds 10 miles per hour higher than what this thing was actually designed for. This speed is 90 miles per hour, so we're literally probably gonna put the derailment and we'll just ha have a just fly her apart. This is again, not designed for this kind of speed. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's good. Don't, don't know if the engine can do that or the hydraulic transmission can do that. Take a hydro hydrodynamic, but hey ho. So it counts under hydraulic, even though I don't particularly agree because it's not pure hydraulic, but hey ho. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm just saying I don't know a lot because I literally do not know. Wait a moment. I just realized this is a miniature train thing. I was going through my mind. I just wait. I need verification. So, you know, while we're going to do that, so, or, you know, you could just not be awake. And there goes the HST. <laughs> you know, what's that is designed to be at the speed. I'm going to be on this rail. Well, I caught a glimpse of that. But, let's see. Let's try Victoria, because I know it was briefly there. Hmm? 
No, did I save that photo? I thought I did. Seven four four seven. Now, if I were to check, because I believe that's because I was actually wondering what happened to the locomotive after the builder built two B, B classes. This is like in big toy in Australia. Okay, no, this is not what I want. So I will be my favourites. Fuck off. Seven four four seven. I think I might be the only one. Like a meet, that takes a few seconds for it to shut down. Yeah, like that's steady jiggling. But <gasps> that's too low. We have forgot how that works is different to how it works in um, kilometers. Where is it? Very man, I'm also kind of for fat it's raining. <laughs> Dang it, even when I try not to be late, I am late. I have to double check. I need a sanity check because the cap it's in. Castle uh, Copped in spring. Now, providing. I don't think I actually have any of the specific load code, do I? I mean, that's M47 there. Because I think that's seven seven four that's seven four four seven, and that's local. It's also seven four seven by the original, well not original, the second owner, 
but Wells under the ownership of um, someone called Robert Griffiths. And I can't believe it. I can't believe I did not make the connection up to this point when I actually had a proper think about it. They're the same locals, so it's been repainted. So let's get this going. It can't be this. Like I'm, I'm having a bit of disbelief because I can't believe. At least I can't believe. I mean, even I'm not stupid enough to put two and two together like that. So many photos. Yeah, that's the new B class. Is Rob Rob Gibbs built? Also the same drive as the seven four four seven the F forty. Bearing in mind, I'm also having to keep an eye on the, uh, I should hopefully be able to find it. Because it can't be the same. Now that's 107, 101, that's 7447. Oh, come on, please. What the? I actually need to have a look at this now. So, when that's green, it is. We'll see you in the locals after. In this, in this sense, I was. Because uh, that's another. Well, that's an FB45. Wait a minute. Why are you there now? Yeah, that's an old one. It's not even from 2017, it's even older than that. Cause these B classes came from 2014 and last one in 2017. And I think he sold his F unit before then. Miss, missed out on the sound, sadly. It's not going to be a community because there's literally nothing here. I'll bring it where there is, but I don't think I was. Just give me. Show me what I want, okay? Show me what I'm after. I oh, can get back to my stream knowing my. Imp I've got the information I'm after. Because right now. It is. Uh, oh, that's loud. Why would you do that? Well, I'm, I just want you to bounce back slightly. Again, I do not want you to do that. There's the horn. There's the... Same loco. Yeah, look, the horn, there's like the little thing on the side. The only discrepancy is that, because that's a little further back on um, this one. Uh, it's someone on another side, because it's so cool. Oh, it's also. It's just, I can't believe it. How did I not realize it up to now? Doing a stream that's not even related to Minute Trains, and I just had a. 
And I never bought the Kinect. So oh, so I just made a custom. Not gonna. It's meant to be an FE45, but it didn't because it's two axles. So it's probably an F40 P8. And not realize. And not realize it's the same one that Warwick Griffiths used. I don't know this the Warwick Griffiths personally because you know he's in Australia for Diamond Valley. And I'm here in England. So I don't really know him. I just only know his name because it's literally on the photo of his loco at the time. And I did wonder what hap was what happened to it because I so like, does he still have it? The answer was no, he doesn't have it. Someone at Copton now owns it and we painted into a Santa Fe livery. And I can't believe like if I even I didn't think I was that dumb. Where I couldn't put two and two together like that. Because it makes so much sense now. That now it that it's just clicked in my mind and it makes so much sense now in my head. Shame. Sometimes if if sometimes even my EDC outstands me. Like no joke. It really does astound me sometimes, even my idiocy. Well, at least now we can continue to stream without that looming over my brain. I just can't believe I hadn't realised up to now. The same loco that was at Diamond Valley for, since 1996. It's, uh, it's, it's just someone has repainted it because it's exactly the same in every other aspect. Oh, we're already at, wow, we got to 100 a lot faster this time. Really? Succeed that way, which we are not, I don't think. I think we're staying on this track for a while. Seven miles away. The present speed we should be there in about like seven minutes, which you know we're still going to be behind in that aspect. But you know, it is what it is. At least now I can put all my undivided attention onto into uh, this uh, uh, timetable now. With that qualm settled in my mind. In that aspect, there's nothing we really left to impede, impede my progress other than just me just having a lapse in com concentration. Which, no means, a very real possibility. Five minutes from now. Oh, I forgot that's a blind I can pull down. That is a thing I can do. I forgot about that. 
And this is the same route that was in the original Train Team World and I played quite a lot on. And did the longest HST in Britain video. So you would think I would know by now. But nope, you would be wrong. Time to nice time, okay. Well, that's probably a lot more. That's a regional class 166. You know, this is, which is why I thought this would be four, but obviously not. This is an intercity um, 166. Oh, what a world, what a world. This is already at high RPMs, so it immediately goes straight to the highest RPM because it's just the speed we're going. Which again, it's still 4 miles per hour over what it was designed for. That was a double, yeah, okay. By reaching a final destination. When they say final destination until its ne next mountain wall. Cinders and smoke coming out the stack. And, uh, on the railroad track. And the uh, maze no line. On the narrow gauge line. Our four. Our fortieth president, Louis McKinsey, got shot down in nineteen oh four. Yeah, this is the final stop in for this map. If I had to guess. Yep. Until it just disappears into the ethers. Oh well, hello. I didn't say you do that. Should be thirty now. What until you at thirty? I was throwing out just one door there. For most people, this one gets up. It, it was a bumpy ride <laughs> because it was never designed for that kind of speed. 
100 miles per hour on another one that was only designed to go 90. <laughs> we were pressing back, pressing the envelope there, fellas. Gee, that's loud. How was my performance? That's what I want to know. How was my performance? Huh. So that was exactly the same as it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a different day. Same lighting, so let me just try something. Before we go into the Hour of White, which is something I do want to stream. But at the same time, we want to explore. On foot. Clear. At 2800 hours. And let's see. I don't know what that's going to be like. Yep, all trains gone. Trains. Okay, lighting seems to be normal. Right here, really quiet. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, yeah, so, you know, this is a lot more of a sprint for night. Cloudy or not, this is kind of what I would expect for. Oh, oh there's a turbo there. But no, this is a lot more of what I was expecting for. I don't know what was going on with the cloud one. So that's showing white. Out of life. Explore. Timetable. I tell you, I do have a custom livery for this. It's just, I think because I installed the liveries before I got the DLC, it's just completely broken and there's no way to repair it. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know what which one I clicked on. <laughs> I didn't look at the time, so I don't know where I am. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, so that's where I am. Oh, I should have seen that. So we're going to head to the other side to Shankton. Hello, don't mind me, I'm just going to turn on the lights for y'all. There we go. It's fine because I got my key on. Oh, heavy. Oh yeah, I need that reverse key. Forward, forward one should actually suffice. And and yeah, that's everything now. Uh.
away we go. Yeah, there we go. Heading too wide. And I've been to the station many times, and I, have, I obviously haven't during the pandemic. So. But whenever we do visit the island, it is a favorite place for me just to see these now cla retired Class 433s. Nope. Not 433. Like, now being replaced by the something fours. I was really hoping it was going to tell me what class it was. Because I don't think it's class 433s. But all I know is they've been, re they literally were retired earlier this year in January, uh, being replaced by the newer battery electric locomotives. Uh, which is BEMU. So, so these 98 unit, the old unit, like, you know, they're like the oldest unit. They're like our version of the GG1s, uh, which had, were going for 50 years. This one went for 90 before it was finally, they've been finally been retired. They, and the, these, these were originally 1938 London Underground stock. So it's very, Interesting. Um. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the hill. There we go. Very interesting, right? Uh, the motor's actually works a bit odd. Well, it works like this in real life. I don't know. Do not know because I never have driven what these this class before in real life. So I can only speculate. So like it doesn't matter. You just get a random surge of power.
I wonder where the other Class 433s are. I had the brakes on this entire time. That would explain that. It probably hasn't done any the mechanics any good. That one there, so it's bit the only other place it can be, because then this is mostly a single level track. But the only place it could be is if I could find which way it goes. It's this way. I'm not going to be there. It's going to be next time it splits to doubles. It's going to be here. It and it's not there yet. So fuck! It played me like a movie file. We should change points or at least go for it past the 45 mile per hour thing. There's the 45 mile per hour thing. Yeah, it's just second power level. Uh, it just gets a uh, it's like a bit of a delay, it's just gets a certain surge of energy and then then it just does it. I don't know, it's gonna happen again. It's not ideal, but it's, you know, this, we're still on the station. It's, just, it's not ideal, but still a win. <laughs> Better than last time when I just flew right past the station, still on the station. Not where it should be, but still on the station nonetheless. For the fact that there's only being a two, a two unit the EMU. Ah, uh, the packs. Does it done it to me again? I'm actually being yeah, I'm actually being relatively on time for once, so that's a oddity indeed. I'm kind of afraid that I just watch it go by here because I. Because I always remember, we used to go, this is like the way to the steam, the R of White Steam Railway, which is like a heritage railway place. And I remember when I was younger, me, Dad, Daniel, Thomas and Roy used to go there. It used to be like where Grandma and Mum used to do like a girls day out sort of thing. And it was an okay trip. It was certainly not like doubles. It was like the place for me for like locomotives and miniature places where well, I like some of the cultural stuff so much. Don't have as much of an interest in full size stuff, I'm gonna be real with you.
Because it's letting coast now, and like gravity, do all the work had a decline of where well, it was 1.3%. So enough for for us to coast out because gravity is just going to continue to to pull us down. Good thing I caught that twenty sign because it's like, oh yes, I almost forgot. I mean to press that, I want to go the other way, not down, I want to go up. Steady as he goes. This is the first time in ages that is not a uh, just a non-stop service. I'm actually on time since early. It's a rarity indeed. Wait, is this our last stop? If it is, it's very unusual because normally it would be here. And there's the other DMU, no, the other EMU, the other 483, that's it. That's not 433, 483. That's the other 483 just going back to basically the next point where these two trains can. No, back down again. So there's our one, and we'll meet the one that's coming up from um, Shanklin momentarily. Like, that's going to be in our next stop, or from nearly two miles away. Fun fact, the other station used to be used, and there used to be another track there, but I removed it for some reason or another. Although I heard with them redoing the, like, like doing all of the tracks, like they're planning to do, we do all of the, the you know, doing some track work and some maintenance before the new class 484s or 485s, I forget, the classification number comes into service, and they plan to bring, put that, put both tracks back on that station as well, bringing the wide one where only one station has been used and have both of them used again. Which would be, this would certainly be interesting. Whether they do or not, remains to be seen.
That's an odd sound. I've heard the 40p's make that sound before when I applied the brake. Okay, if I can't have gravity do much of the work without me applying the brakes, that'll be good. Saves some additional wear and tear, which I have inevitably did earlier on uh, on this route. Second of January, yeah, right. This didn't happen on the second of January, so you know. It's not what I imagined you would do, but so why not? Oh, let's do it. And there's the the uh, class for eight three. You know the other one that we saw on the map just a few nanos ago, like a minute or two ago. Point waiting for us. No. Yep, there you go, I can hear them. Here's the other one. Yeah, and he's off going back the way we came. And that's literally how it works on the hour flight. That there's two trains just kind of meet at this point, like when there's two tracks there and the next one is at Y. So that's the only two points where the trains can actually go past each other uh, t towards the opposite direction to Wide Pier and Shankling respectively. Shankling respectively. <laughs> this is the only way that can happen. Wait. Oh, did I do the wrong one? I did. Crap. Well, that means we're now behind schedule. Which is most regretful. Oh, we were behind schedule anyway by six seconds. All right. Oh, well, it was too good to last. It was too good to last. So, like, like the amps just fluctuate like crazy, like jeez. Almost went to 45, and I remember wait now the speed limit is 10 miles per hour. Let's get this all, all today, Junior.
At one point, the third map I had, I went to stop, is literally the last stop off here, which is going to be Shank Shanklin. So we're like definitely in the end game now, sort of thing. But for the majority, we did stay on schedule or ahead of schedule. So we just another team t did if we're not doing a non-stop one. So you know. And see, what, one mile from now is our final destination on this route. So don't know if somebody does that. There you go. That's the job of energy I was expecting. That vibe is definitely a beautiful place, there's no doubt about it. There it is. End of the line. Yep. Talk about the speed limit. Fine, I saved it. We didn't crash into the bumper. It's fine. Decided to give me the bonus for that time. And yep, that sounds about right. Only a few times I went over. So, you know, pretty good. Main menu. Oh, last checkpoint. You know, that'd be nice if 
Fred just know if you did that for me, but hey. And normally this is where I would end the stream, but I really, really would like to at least get back to where I was. I only had half to do, so this is gonna be a two and a half hour stream. It's still out of board. That's what happened, and I'm not completely tolerating it. I'm gonna be real with you. Clips. I think this for that. Put in the end the arrow. Come on, man. End the. I got a fair name. Where's that? Intercity train. Because I'd much rather be playing. We'll get there eventually. Not more with will slip it in it than I remember. Well, there's no min power on this. Oh, I forgot about that. How about that? Will you cause any more? Yep, you will. Hopefully now it won't. Again, two kilo kilometers is probably where I want to be, all things considering, till I break. A cool 15%. It's 22 hours. 
That gave me stacking tough. This would be the point where I'd aim, but I am not tolerating that forward. I said I want to get back to how I was before the game decided to bowl me over completely. Alright, why are you... Look at Germany, he's having a beautiful play. Chosen that using full power is only using about 38% at the speed of Tor Electricity is drawing. So, you know, that's cool. I thought about that speed limit for just a nano and I completely forgot. Like back when I began beginning I was like I've got to keep an eye for the eighty kilometers per hour thing and I still forgot anything. Regenerative breaking, yo. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Don't know what train would actually be on this sideway thing, I forget what it's called. But it can be much, just purely considering the fact that, um, that, uh, you can't pity the amuse there because there's no like, overhead wires that we connect the darn things to. Oh, we actually passed it. Speed limit thing. Oh, that's cool. I was about to stop accelerating because I thought we hadn't passed it yet. So that's cool. That's neat. I gotta remember. Uh, hopefully, I'll recognize when I do that to slow down because the speedometer for the 160 thing will be incorrect for baiting me as it were, it put me in a full sense of security.
supposed to come over to the canal because keep an eye on that. Well, that is okay. That's cool. They them to program the screens correctly like that. So I've got eight hundred meters to basically half the speed I'm going. Now that was close. Got my finger on D, witty, and waiting. And I didn't have to wait that long. A little bit old. I didn't know we're actually ahead. Again, I thought we were actually going to be over something. Oh, that's nice. Now, if it's a double tunnel, i got to be careful and probably slow down a lot sooner than I think I should. That's where, because that's where it started all to go so, so long for old Matthew. Oh well. Uh. One button. Like a glove. Oh wow, we already passed it. I'm expecting a little bit more of delay, I'm not gonna lie.
Did it again. I knew that was going to throw me into personal security. And I put it into an emergency now. By accident. Uh, well, I got some time, although not enough time because of that mistake. Again, it caught me out. 110. Caught me out again. Can't believe it. I thought it was almost 60, but no. It, in either case, it caught me out again in the exact same place. One of these days, it won't catch me out like that. <laughs> but today, my friends, is not that day. Yeah, and amazingly, despite that amazing stuff up, still on schedule. I'm going to save now because I don't really have anything. Yeah, because I think the thing I was saving was a something I was using as a photo thing for a livery I did for the ice tray, you know, the Asilo, based on the Asilo li Liberty, which is not, which is no longer required. So, you know. Bearing in mind, that's weird. In 10 seconds, I'll close it really for uh, 1547 hours. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mark. And that's why I saved. That's why I saved. Just in case it pulled that on. But according to the thing, it said I had like another 100 meters left. And I'm not as upset as I was because I saved. And I know you're going to put me back. Yep. You think I haven't caught on to your games? <laughs> if you do, then I'm sad to say that it simply isn't so. Unless it hasn't saved and then I'll be a lot more angry. I'm going to wait for it. Yeah, it's like I have like a hundred thing left. So, uh... Yeah, that's what I thought it was, but there it's where it's having problems, but there's where I was expecting. Do I have to actually have to wait for the 
for that uh, for the Intercity Express, you know, the Ice Three to pass. Is that what is that what's going on here? So then that's some chunky business, and you know it is. Oh, there it is. It's flying past. I can't go anywhere. Denied. Wait for signal to change. This is the thing that's going to get me behind schedule. Part that, I have to wait for the signals to go green. Let's go. Oh. It's not the first time it has happened on the snowy where I saved with my with me turning off having the brakes on and it just won't for a reason. I honestly don't know what it wants for me. Cause I haven't still figured out why. Looks like the brakes are still on.
Uh, okay. Okay, let's... Okay, if I don't get this to work soon, I'm going to be A, upset, because the whole point of me saving is for it to work. And if you don't, I'm going to be so upset. Like, I am actually infuriated right now. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why? Wait a minute. Why did it sound like it was actually waiting? Wait, the mess. Where's the mess? Why? That's I'm trying to figure out why. It's not the first time you've done that and I still don't know how to do it. How to fix you.
why aren't you letting me? I don't understand what you want from me. It's like hellbent for me not to complete this one thing I wanted to do. I'm getting incredibly angry because of it. Because literally the only way I know of how to fix this is literally, literally by resetting this route. I would have stopped there if you let me. Literally nothing. It's like nothing I can do, I don't... <sighs> I'm just going to end the stream soon because honestly I'm getting frustrated. I was doing good, I was doing really well. No. I'm actually getting really angry right now. That's how it was. But on the fact, it just does not work.
Just ten. It's almost ten. Find a it's like, what it means take something is meaning it's preventing it. I don't know what it could be. I know I'm just repeating myself, but I honestly I lost. Because because I was rejoining these things are useless. I wouldn't be so upset this is giving me a lesson of reason. First, you know, these are... Right. Well, I'm not starting again this stream. Tried everything. I actually tried. I've tried really hard to get this to do this part. At this point, I'm just getting angry. Because by all definitions, it should be moving. With that that thing means something's preventing it, and I honestly could not tell you what it is. So I've tried everything I can think of. I don't do the break that is. Oh, fancy I was gonna give you a bit of information. Oh but I yield. Because I've been trying for just for nine minutes. But in total couldn't do it well. 
why? That's why I don't understand why. At least I had some explanation of why it's doing it. At least I wouldn't be as angry as I am now. But, as it stands, the game will literally not let me continue to save. Which does mean that I cannot finish that route. And that is literally one of the main, like the only objective for this stream was literally just to try and finish that route. Or it could stop bugging me on that scenario. But two out, two and a half hours later, and that's just been a no-go. So yeah, I mean, other than that infuriating um, scenario, which is just hell bent of me not finishing for whatever reason. Um, like both my signals, and then when I say to circumvent us in case it did that, it's now just not letting me drive it, it just literally just won't engage so yeah gee what's the fuck going on over here uh <laughs> So yeah, I'm like, no, I'm gonna leave this live stream here. It's not exactly where I wanted to leave it. I'm hoping it to be a lot more of a high note, but alas, it was not meant to be. So, so, so once again, thank you so much for watching this live stream. Okay, uh, thank you so much for watching this live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a DV note which you can have a look at as I post my artwork. So you can find that at um, dvnot.com for says hexadecimal. That's hexadecimal. Change the A to any and you'll find me. I also have a Twitter account as I post my rambling source stuff as well as updates on these streams. So if they're delayed or cancelled for whatever reason, I'll be posting there. So I want to have something to show on that front. I do have a behind the scene. No, I, you can find that at trio.com for slash mj. Trio.com for slash mj mouse right 88. And now for the behind the scenes stuff I alluded to while I got my links mixed up. I do have. I, I'm first and foremost an animator and not a gamer. That's why these streams happen late at night. So I want to tell the show on that front. I do have a behind the scenes Tumblr account just for just such an occasion. So you can find that at um, crystallizingentertainment.tumblr.com and finally I have a YouTube channel which is youtube.com for slash user for slash shy guy movies shy guy movies one two. All of the links I just mentioned will be in the description. Why? All of the links I just mentioned will be in the link. All of the this crack out here. Wait, bear with me. I'm gonna. I'm going to say this right even if it kills me. <laughs> All of the links I just mentioned will be in the description right b down below if you're watching the archive. Or hey, if you want to slide on Twitch, if you scroll, scroll down from the stream, there's some handy dandy neat buttons to take you to all of the links I just mentioned. So, once again, thank you so much for watching this live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Fuck, that was not what I thought my mouse was. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd say that is pretty symbolic of how this stream went overall, particularly with that German scenario. So, yeah. I see in the stream, I'm a bit disappointed how it ended. Really, I had a lot higher hopes than how it ended. But, you know. You win, you, you win something, you lose something. It's just this time I lost and it just has infuriated me. Um, tonight we're going to be hosting Canadian STL with Dying Light. So, you know, a bit, a bit of a change of pace, a little bit of a stark contrast to this. But, you know, that's what I'm going to send you. So, thanks so much, everyone. And I'll talk to you later. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.